everybody's interested in music, so that's a common interest. A common interest. Yeah, yeah, the common interest. And the fact that you use the mic as the freaking eye, bro, that's what that's what throw yeah. me. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, so that's what it was. I was like, yeah, the common interest. That's um, everybody's like, no matter what it is, no matter what anybody's going through, some way they can have, they can talk about anything if it's about music. Oh, maybe one day I could be a singer. Nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> Kneel to the master Jedi, Prince of Darkness can only catch me flying on a red eye high. Not five percent, I'm in the hundred percentile with a smile that could resurrect left eye. The Kenbei couldn't contest my greatness, never faithless. I am patient, but when it comes to my money, I'm at pay less. Pay attention to the cadence, march the tune of my own horn. Born to free the slave ship with the Holy Father's horn. I've been torn between my halo and my horns, cause I'm haunted all the time. But I see the silver line like the color of a dime on the side. I'm O, Marcus Garvey on a boat, preaching less to the masses just so they can stay afloat, uh. Why these niggas drinking gloat? I'm just sitting back, no boast. Listening to outcast, chiefing on the green and smoke. Working on my fucking craft, roll that war, no time to choke. They say you only get one shot, well, I'm a sniper with the scope. Shooting from top of Everest, nevertheless, I'm off. Lyrically inclined, they have to rap as you know. You would be pressed to find a style that's quite like mine, cause I'm so anti trap. Don't say that you rap, nigga. You claim in the streets, but they ain't claiming you back, nigga. I'm coming with facts, nigga. I know that you own. Congratulations for that, nigga. I got a question to ask. Cause at the end of the day, know that I thought about the words that I'm choosing to spray. And if you feeling what I'm saying, then you see through the fake. So follow me, man. I'll show you the way. Uh, yeah. Cause at the end of the day, know that I thought about the words that I'm choosing to spray. And if you feeling what I'm saying, man, you see through the fake. So follow me, man. I'll show you the way. All right, welcome everybody. We are the Common Interest, and who I have me today is Jumpman. Um, so yeah, so um, at the Common Interest, we started off like this. We asked you to hit us with a rewind. That's when you tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got involved in music, and how you got here today. All right, uh, shit. So I've been around music pretty much my whole life. My family, uh, they've been doing music since I was. Before I was born, my pops, he'd been doing me just before I was born. Uh, but basically, I didn't touch it until probably 19. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't touch it until 19. Uh, I started writing uh, after I heard uh, uh, Under Pressure by Logic. Ah, That's called, yeah, Under yeah, Pressure kind of sparked it for me. Uh, cool. So I started writing just for my personal shit. And then uh, it started off as therapy and shit like that. And then... From there, it kind of got a little bit more serious. I started trying to get a little bit more serious about it um, and write, start writing more, trying to get more out like that. Uh, basically, bounced it off my friends a bunch of times. And, you know, they was my, fortunately, I have real honest friends. Yeah. You know, I didn't have no friends who was going to lie to me or nothing like that. So it was like, yeah, man, that's that's whack. You need to work on that. <laughs> like, I had friends that was straight up about this shit the that's whole time. Shit, so shout out to all my homies in L.A. basically for struggling with me through the first period of me writing because it wasn't, it wasn't hot shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> nah, yeah. So yeah. Was, yeah was, everybody go through that. Everybody yeah, through yeah, that. yeah. But, yeah, man, I kept with it. That was one of the few things I just really kept with, and it, it was it got me through my time in, where I was in college. And then once I finished up with college, I, I ended up dropping out. I moved to Florida, uh, mm-hmm. back with the folks. So that's when things really got serious. Uh, they didn't know that I, that really started writing. My mom's knew, she knew, okay. but uh, my pops didn't know. Um, and I, he had asked me to write something because my mom had told him. Okay. And I wrote something real quick, and he was impressed, okay. <laughs> which was it was shocking. And then, uh, <laughs> very shocking. And then he told me to do this test. He he uh, he gave me a song I had to memorize mm. in like three days. <laughs> like yeah. I had three days to memorize the song. Now this is me just brand new, never really even recorded a track, never heard my voice on anything. How do you? I, at this age? I was like twenty one. Okay, okay. Twenty one. So uh, I try to memorize the shit, couldn't do it. He's like, you're not going to be a rapper. <laughs> He's like, you're not going to be a rapper. And he wasn't saying that because, you know, he didn't think I could. He said that because, you know, I didn't memorize the shit in the time I had allowed. So yeah. that kind of pushed me a little bit harder. And yeah. I just worked, worked nonstop for three months. 
and he was in the studio one day and an opportunity came up where I spit something and I did and that's when we decided to take it serious man okay cool that's yeah. why that's yeah, why yeah man so that was about two years ago two years ago we decided to start taking it serious uh, now we've moved out here uh, to Houston Houston has been a, a great place for experiences and things uh, I've gotten a lot more shows underneath my belt I said so we've really haven't been doing it too long it's it's really been a, a, a new journey so i'm i'm very uh, excited with where we at right now in houston especially with my performances and stuff like that yeah yeah so, Yo, you did a great job with i that, appreciate sure. it man yeah. that stuff was new too so i hadn't even gotten that was my first time performing that you did stuff. great I man did, I, yeah it's, no, it's, it's, it's very rehearsed i can tell like, <laughs> I you, you practice you did it good. It's, trying, good it's good man. um fucking um uh, okay so i want to take everything y'all and you said so you said you moved from l.a yeah to florida nah so first i moved from la to the bay to go okay. to school and play basketball then i moved from the bay to florida and then from florida and out of here so i've been moving around a lot in the couple past couple okay years. so like <laughs> do you think that's like a okay from la to florida was that like a culture shock at all uh yes okay from california to florida was a big ass culture shock for me uh, it's, it's a lot more uh, conservative out there mm. than, okay. <laughs> than, I'm, than I'm particularly used to. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's, but at the same time, there's a dope-ass underground hip-hop scene out there. I figured they would. Like, you listen to, like, to anybody there? I met some really dope-ass MCs okay. out there. Like, that's they're, tight, that's like, they're, tight. they're I owe a lot of me get my inspiration to do the shit from from mm. the shout out to uh, Vadio and Gambo like they were instrumental in me really getting started like they helped me with my first three videos that I did my first three song project okay. that I released yeah I was uh, actually about that that, uh, <laughs> that stuff was pretty much set up through them they helped me uh, get the shot and really helped me rehearse and kind of take it a little bit more seriously man so yeah shout out to them that's what I'm yeah uh florida was definitely a big culture shock i had a, another place where it's just i feel like the early 20s man is, is a lot of learning experiences a lot of life lessons you gotta yeah. you gotta get in you get in through yeah you're going definitely. through some shit so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah most definitely Cause it's, 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 life is coming at you like for real for real exactly, now and then it's exactly. like you're trying to follow your dreams at the same time and that's yeah. still like the the child in you so you have to exactly. keep that, that yeah. dream alive and exactly. that's 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 life yeah <laughs> but you know yeah so um so how was florida to houston was that oh, kinda, man. was that I, as i love bad? it man i love it okay. I, i'm i'm happy to be uh one around black people again yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's 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 the that's the biggest thing i'm really happy like like it's dope to see so many like people doing what they're doing like seeing this seeing the creative community that's yeah. out here like it's, it's really you know, dope I, it's unique Exactly, like yeah. going to that one year thing is like it's crazy because at the top of the year I had really not done no shows. Right. I, I've maybe done one show before then. What? Okay. Yeah, so, so you've been like, working. You've been she working. was she was my first That's show that I ever did, and seeing all the progress that we've all made in this past year to mm -hmm. where we at now, it's like yeah, it's like you can see the growth, you can see the connection. Everybody's still like in contact with each other. That's Everybody's right. still pushing each other. Everybody's still promoting each other's shit, and it's like that's, that's good energy. Having, that's having those platforms, man, like that shit's dope. Oh, in case y'all don't know what he's talking about, it's yeah. Flow Studios. It's uh, the hat, the one year uh, anniversary. Something I lost yeah. the word. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so shout out to Coco for having that. Real talk. Uh, go. go ahead, follow her. Um, go check out the events and do. It's it's a great like for great platform. We was talking about yeah, uh, when we left. He was like, dang, we got a dope lineup like for free. Like everybody was good. Like there wasn't one person that was off. Like yeah. that was like, dang, yeah, that's, that, that was, was a, pretty tight. Um, that was a nice lineup. Yeah, yeah. Like every one of y'all went in. Like um, <laughs> and when you stepped on the stage, I was like, okay, you you already look at. Like he's ready to go. I seen it. I seen it. you. You was like, <laughs> the fire is up and everything. He's like, all right, I can let this bitch loose. Let's go ahead and get it. Um. <laughs> And you you spit I it, uh, it yeah no nah, and because I, I like your uh your beat choices they're like the it's a chill but it's also can be like the turn up but it can yeah. also be the smoke but like it's, exactly. it feels like it fix all the vibes yeah exactly um, that's that's pretty much an exact combination of my music library right there it's okay like, big I was I, asking you about that yeah, too yeah man, okay it's totally, definitely totally, totally. R and B hip hop in smoky shit okay <laughs> <laughs> pretty much that's that's I what it is man has, uh, who are like, okay, in those in those three categories, who's two of your biggest influences out of those? Uh, biggest influences. Uh, you said R and B, smoker, and hip hop. So yes, I gotta say, 
Outcast. That's a good one. Outcast is definitely a huge influence. Uh, Big Boy and Andre both. Yeah, they're great. Uh, they're legends. Just absolute legends. Uh, yeah. And then R and B. There's just so many in R and B, but if I had to choose one, just because I chose Outcast, I because she fits the R and B and the smoker mm-hmm. shit is Erica Badu. Oh yeah, okay. That's yeah. that's a that's a big that's a big big influence yeah. musically. I love I love her man. Yes, I don't great. know anybody who doesn't. If you don't feel bad for you yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man uh besides that i mean like the the list goes on man for hip-hop and for for r&b like music soul child well a uh hip-hop freaking mop deep fucking Tri Car yeah. Quest, like, like okay, you, rock you, him yeah. and be, like it's just so it's, it's, you got the, the, uh, it's endless for that stuff you got man. the i feel like that's the the great hip hop era, like the early hip hop, is like mm-hmm. I feel like they were still trying to figure it out. I was listening when I um, when I listen back to the old stuff now. I feel like around Biggie and Tupac, that's when they kind of just they got it, like they figured it out for real, for real. And because don't, don't get me wrong, they're all uh, all the legends before that, they're all greats and stuff. But I feel like um around that time, that's I think when they it's just it. a matter of like being like like we was talking about earlier how having that voice. Mm-hmm. I feel like that Biggie and Pac was that first. Yeah. era where we really had that voice yeah. like we really had that introduction into the market like we really got seen as if, like something yeah. that's viable to make a lot of money off of like right. that shit like that's where it really got commercially successful I feel yeah. like it, it, it's the biggest thing so shit that's what uh, we all trying to figure out right now everybody yeah. at this point I'm trying to figure out how to make my stuff commercially successful that's yeah. where I want to that's where I want to be man I want to be I want to be up there oh yeah yeah um did I remember I look. You have your stuff on the DSPs, on uh, digital streaming platforms. Uh, nah, I don't, man. Uh, not yet. On That's SoundCloud, right. on YouTube, and on my Instagram and stuff is where we have the bulk of our stuff right now. But sooner rather than later, it, it, okay. we will be up on on DSPs. Sooner yeah. rather than later, we don't have an official date yet, but it'll be up there okay. shortly. Cool. Uh, sure, but if you sure. want to check it out, it's I am Jumpman official, all one word. On YouTube, on Instagram, on uh, SoundCloud as well, you can check out some of the newer songs that we just released um, back in September, and okay. we have videos to accompany those as well. So check cool. those out. So in the videos you're talking to, they're going to the Chronicles, correct? Yes, yes, I'm talking about the Chronicles. Yeah, yes, just make yes. sure. All right, so the Chronicles yes. dropped it on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. It is five songs. Yes. Um, nine minutes though. So yeah, yeah. Why why did you chose choose not chose choose to go that route? So we did the minute thirty route because really we have we have pro- this whole time that we I've been here um, and literally the whole time we've been doing music we have like a library of music that we mm-hmm. built up so we have two projects already done just not we're getting videos treated for them too okay. at the same time so we have the actual projects that we're gonna release but. I wanted to do something in the meantime to mm-hmm. kind of hold people over because you know it's all about content. You gotta have content, give correct, it correct. constantly putting out content. Uh, so I wanted to do like short little minute thirty. What was gonna fit on Instagram um, okay. videos to songs that we did. So I just did you know verse hook and to songs that I really felt like were dope. Man, I just went on YouTube. All those beats pretty much are from YouTube, man. Okay. Like okay. I, I found there's just one producer on YouTube and J eighty eight, like I definitely I, I, I rely heavily. Huh? Eight oh eight. Huh? Eight oh eight. Eight oh eight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I said eight oh eight. Eight oh eight, yeah. Uh, J eight oh eight. So uh, what's it called? Yeah. He, he's phenomenal. Yeah, I saw bro. Like, in your uh, in your likes in YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he's 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 dope as hell. So I definitely one day if you ever watch this J eight oh eight I definitely won't work. But yeah, we're nah, gonna tag him in this we're gonna tag him, we're tag him. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but yeah, man, that's that's like just the music that I connect with, you can tell like just it fits those molds. Mm-hmm. I want something people can still knock their head to yeah. which that hip hop and then you know soul kind of where the musicality comes in I feel like those those type of beats are where I kind of reside best at but I also wanted to come with some of the attack that I came on that second track too so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely uh, I definitely got got different facets to to the way that I spit but yeah no most definitely it's, uh, it's a very mature sound like um I'll you've been saying you've been doing it for a while but you really haven't really just been 
doing it but really rapping like I know like in the scene for the past year so yeah it, it seems like you've been doing more for a year so you've been you're doing a good job Keep yeah thank you man yeah. I appreciate it yeah. man yeah. No, for, for real, real. It's, it's really good um, so with the videos um, you said you made them like so you can be on YouTube and everything mm-hmm. um, okay so that, that's my question so my other question was uh, let me look at the names okay on your YouTube videos that you have out Never Too Late and Forget mm. um, those are your two most popular songs <clears throat> they almost have 4,000 views so um, why do you think those are your most popular videos well those have been out the longest the longest yeah okay. yeah those are the, so Never Too Late Forget It and Follow Me those are my first three that I've released ever and sure. that was off the road outside my window uh, EP is just three song uh, EP that we did. Also, oh, that was okay. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, that was the first that's, one. That's that's real smart to have the videos with that. Yeah. A lot of people don't really whatever, do that way. But whatever we do, we do videos with yeah. it. Just because the uh, I think one thing that he's preaching is definitely video. People got to see. Yeah. You know, people definitely it's gonna hold their attention more if they can see. Yeah. So it's yeah. definitely something. Even on the videos that we did do. All that stuff was done off the iPhone. <clears throat> uh, uh, on the newer stuff, yeah. the videos we shot that off my iPhone. Yeah, uh, yeah. did and it was real intimate, but it was something just where they could see me and uh, hear hear my voice too at the same time. And it definitely worked out, man. Okay, for sure, that's tight. Oh, um, just to let you know, um, when you sign up for your DSPs and everything on Spotify, mm-hmm. there's this thing called Spotify Canvas. Check that out. Just go to Spotify.com/slash/canvas mm-hmm. and it's perfect because you have visuals for each one of your songs you can use an animation inside of it so basically like when people are playing your music they'll play do an animation so it keeps their attention again so you can get because you know you, you need that's only, dope yeah so because all you need is 30 seconds you get that's how you get your stream so if you they looking at this for damn near 15 then they listen to the rest of the song shit oh damn actually I like this so they keep playing this got a stream already that all you need is 30 so boom Oh, so yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, that'd be great for you since you got all those visuals and everything. You could just it's about like five seconds or something like yeah. that. Um, yeah. But that'd be great for you. Yeah, so definitely check that out whenever you uh, sign up for that shit. Um, but yeah, uh, so about those vid- with those videos, um, which one was your personal favorite and why? Uh, out of the first three that we did? Yeah. Uh, I got to say Follow Me was my favorite. Okay. Because that was the first one that I had shot. Okay. So that was like my first official video thing that we did, and that was like my first. It wasn't my first song that we had recorded, mm-hmm. but uh, it was definitely the first one that we had said we were putting out to the world. So it was okay. like that was my. Like, you know, you can't. You can't. That's can't, right. Yeah. Compare it to compare nothing to it, man. And it's the way that it came out to seeing myself like that. Yeah. Like I was like, you know, I. I ne- I up until that point I never even it, I, it never occurred to me as a possibility right. you know to see myself like that and to hear my voice like that and it was it was uh that's tight yeah it was definitely a, a really really dope experience man it was that's crazy cool. that's dope so out of the new videos which one's your favorite ooh uh, I gotta say um I gotta say oral stimulation okay yeah yeah because that one's just me yeah, smoking. Talking shit. Yeah. Talking. That's what, um, that's what it's like. It's like the blue background or something like that. Uh, it's like black and white. Well, I guess they're all black. Uh, a lot of them are black and white. Because I know it was uh, a lot of black and white. One. And one was like, it was like you had a blue, like, uh, I don't even know, like a lighting or something. Uh, I don't know if it was affected. That's anything. Rush. That's, that's Rush. Uh, no, Rush. That okay. was in the car. Okay. Rush. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what he's actually sitting on the stove. Yeah, I was sitting on the stove. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that one, that okay, one was there. Yeah, okay, was, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. Um, who did the animation for? Oh, I think I wrote it down. Hold on. Oh, for uh, um, I know what you're talking about. Could have been. been. Okay, yeah, yeah, that shit was tight. Who did yeah, that? Uh, Nate. Nate, uh, what's, what's his name? Nate Creative, I think. Yeah, Nate Creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's try. yeah. I, we'll shout, we'll shout him out. But Nate, shout out to Nate. He's in LA. He's okay. a dope ass camera dude, and as you saw, animator man, like literally to my words, just painted this amazing ass picture. So yeah. Yeah, we really, that was one of the That's things. Tight. Yeah, that shit was hard. That shit was hard. Yeah, man, I loved that thing, man. That shit was crazy. When I got that back, I was, I, I was at a loss for words, man. No, I feel like that. Yeah. There's another thing, like coming out to using, like I just. The stuff that we've been able to do in this year has been crazy, man. Like, I've done shows. I've done, 
you know, I did a, a radio interview. This is my first podcast. Like just different things like yeah. that. Just being I'm out here, it. man, it's, it's been it's been amazing. <laughs> nah, it's a great time for it. Like niggas trying to move. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's and it's um it's all it's all real underground right now. Like yeah. it's, it's, this is like the start, like the the steps to it. But I feel like. If everybody stay consistent with what they're doing for the next five years, they're gonna be some. It's gonna be some big shit. Exactly. It's gonna be some big shit. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So I fuck with it. Keep doing your thing, everybody. Y'all doing great. <laughs> uh. But uh. <clears throat> dang. What was gonna ask? Okay. So, uh, Gambo. Gambo again. Gambo. Gambo. Yeah. Okay. But uh, he recorded your first, first three. three. Okay. Yep. First so three. he didn't do the the recent ones. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Literally, okay. what's called? He did the most recent ones. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah we have a, a tripod and then he also you know, set up some of the angles and got mm-hmm. the lighting. He studied lighting. He edited all of them. All the new videos he learned basically down there That's overnight like, <laughs> yeah, <good laughs> to shit. edit all the shit. Yeah. Good shit. And <laughs> uh, what's called? Yeah. We just shot it on my phone, man. We were like, there's got to be something. And literally those songs, like we record shoot the video record and edit it in like a day and then it's done like okay. that, that all that stuff was done within the span of like time that it was released man so it's like it was quick turnarounds on those and he just learned how to video edit overnight yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 i've been around a bunch of video I, i'm in the movies and stuff so okay yeah, yeah. it made it a little easier okay that's <laughs> it's thanks so <laughs> it was, so it was like you know it made it made the the create it, we, we were able to focus on the creativity yeah. more so of it that's than you know the actual work of it you know yeah. having to lock in a videographer having to schedule a time having to do all, you know it's like you know waiting for the edit to come back like we just was like you know do it just to get it done, done and get something out to you know the our following has grown tremendously in the last year too that's another that's big thing that's changed we literally last november we was 180 followers okay and we had 3000 now 300 3, yeah. now so like we've grown a, a, a great good. a great deal in the past year so it's like we gotta keep on feeding that that yeah. new. We, the more people we bring on to that platform, I want to make sure that everybody gets a piece of it because new people who follow me might not know about my older stuff or right. might not know about it. So, so I'm trying to constantly feed them with that stuff until we get the main projects out. I feel but, yeah, okay. but that stuff, those are gonna be full fledged videos. I actually just shot a video with uh, TT Visuals. Shout out TT Visuals, dude is a mad professional man. Like he picked the spot that we were shooting at like had it to where we he knew what he wanted he told me what I what he wanted and he listened to some ideas that I had and it was just a really good workflow man okay. so shout out to TT visuals man he's a true professional he really is man and the product came out amazing like we got a video we are, I don't know when we were releasing it but it's so it's, <laughs> okay. it's, it's, it's gonna be nice I just know whenever it does come out it's gonna be crazy shout out to Von Beats for the track the amazing 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 track man he bodied that track and you know I, hopefully y'all think I bodied my verses too <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> but yeah man I'm excited for that to come out but that's t- dope. yeah that's dope. Yeah, we've been doing a lot man that's tight that's real tight yeah yeah uh they sleep on the editing stuff. That's how hard it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. That editing like, stuff. I was like, yeah. I, I was like, when he when he brought back the edit, I was like, when did you learn to do that? Like, if I know this shit's hard as hell, like I've seen the sweets, Bro. like that. I've seen all the options that come up. Bro. And it's like I don't even that stuff look like gibberish to me. Like straight I be, gibberish. I be I be waiting last minute to send this stuff to him. He'd be like, Oh, it's cool, don't worry about it. I work best on <laughs> like, like, No, like <laughs> no, I'm trying to give you time. Like he's, I know that's gonna take like he's like, no, it's whatever, bro, I got it. It's cool. And every time the other episode's ready, like, yes, I feel it. Oh <laughs> it be like that. Oh um, okay, I was gonna ask you. Uh okay, so um it's gonna be uh who do you have a that's a producer at this time? Uh, right now it's a bunch of producers, man. Okay, like, okay. I, fortunately, because of the uh, the like I said, my family already doing music. The mm-hmm. producer uh, time that we have, it's like anybody who can, you know, send a beat, we that's take right. on fully, and you know, what's called we try. To, and more importantly, he's producer himself. Like a lot of our stuff is in house that good. we do. That's great. So that's it's like. Cute. Everything we're trying to push towards right now is pushing more so in house. Okay. But uh, I do have oh, a few producers that I work with and have contributed amazing ass, amazing ass uh, uh, 
tracks to to my catalog, man. It's it, I, I've been fortunate, very blessed to work with some of the people that I work with. That's great. That's great. Um, so do you plan on staying independent? Um, uh, we family on, man. Okay. Family on. Yeah, okay. man. We family on right now. That's tight. That's tight. That's that's sad. That's really good. I was talking about that shit the other day. I was like, damn, it'd be cool if like I had like a like a family business I could go to or something like that. Like they had a uh, mm-hmm. like my my parents had like a bakery or some shit like that. Or mm-hmm. Like you know, I was like, damn, it'd be cool. Just like I don't know. It's yeah, it's good to have a like generational thing or something. Exactly. Generational yeah. wealth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's yeah. It's just like uh, so with the tape. Um, when you when you created it, what did you want to express? On uh, uh, the uh, the collect uh, chronicles. Oh, chronicles. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, really, the chronicles was because I, you know, I feel like everybody go through. Everybody got their dry spells where they just, you know, you're not writing. It's not not really coming out. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I just come off of one, and I was really like sit with myself thinking. I was just like, you know, like what are you writing for? Mm-hmm. Like, what did you start writing for? Okay. It's like, you know, that's when I kind of sat down. It was just like, you know what? I'm going to write what comes out. You know, people fuck with it. They fuck with it. If they don't, they don't. And I got to live with the results either way because it's I'm writing for myself. Right. You know, at the same time as I'm writing for everybody else, you know, it's got to come off. I, I never want to put off anything unauthentic or not me out there. Like, it's it's got to come for me. And I hope people, you know, vibe with it. You know, that's I got to try and make music that I like before I'm make music you know that everybody else you know really vibes with and then i can kind of fine tune it to what they like from okay. that point but i just want to be authentic that's really what the the goal is of this new stuff so they got whatever i was feeling in that moment was what they got if i felt like venting about some some females i vented about some females if i felt like talking shit about you know what i was doing with a female then that's what i was doing you know back then. <laughs> okay, you know if i okay. felt like talking shit about you know uh this is the confessions of a loud spit a foul mouth wild nigga i'll be tripping hard and my, to my, my smiles be turning into scowls quicker like that shit was all in that moment everything that i wrote that's was tight. in that moment and i felt like there's something that needed to be said okay okay i'll fuck yeah. with it that's tight that's tight so what um you get on you get uh, you get to choose a have a rap feature, uh, R and B feature, and you get to choose your producer. Who would you pick? Oof. Okay. All right, producer. So I always wanted to work with Pharrell. Tight. It's gonna be hard regardless. <laughs> <laughs> regardless. <laughs> For real. Producer, I always wanted to. Uh, then you said feature. Yeah. Oh. For it's a rap feature and R and B feature. A rap feature and an R and B feature. Yeah. Alright. R and B feature. Um just because I love all the work that he's done on everything he's touched in like the last two years, Ty Dolla Sign. Uh, yeah. His voice his voice <laughs> yeah. is literally this is track sounds hard crazy. already. <laughs> like like Ty's voice is, is ridiculous, man. And the vocal work that he's done for all these artists over the past two years man like with no feature credit either yeah like he's just i've just been hearing him pop up on yeah. it but it's just like his, there's something about ty's voice yeah. that just stands out and you know it's amazing him. you know it's him so <laughs> ty and then for my rap feature uh, for the rap feature i gotta I, I'm, I'm gonna get killed on my own shit, but Kendrick, <laughs> just because like Kendrick was my, Kendrick yeah. was, Kendrick, yeah, his, he's, he's man, been he's his good. production now is like another level. Oh um, yeah, the fact that he hasn't done anything all year, the old, he done maybe like, like two features, and one of them was like at no, yeah, he did Atlas for when did J Rock album come out last year? Uh, last year, it came out last year, twenty eighteen. Cause they went on that run. Yep. Mm-hmm. Black Panther drop. Yeah, yeah. Right. Album yeah. Drop. and then yeah. did this. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. so it was the only thing he did this year was the uh, the Adlers on um, Sun. I, was, I uh, think so. Or oh, Drink, uh, Drinkville. Oh right, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. The, only thing. That's the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, yep, you're right. And he could drop any moment. It's gonna he gonna sell. That's crazy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's, yeah. A, that's a hard that's a hard song. Yeah. Yeah man. Yeah. Um. I was gonna ask. Oh, so you wouldn't want uh, P and B as a feature? Uh, he sounds just like Tyler Dolla Sign. 
Yeah, but I just he it's, actually bopped off his sound. It's I'm something. Really it's something about it's something about Ty's voice that's so fucking soulful. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like DJ the Chicago kid. There's something about mm-hmm. that voice yeah. that just he has unique voice. It's too. like yeah, you know, it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. something about that specific voice that I can hear on that, and I just know whatever Pharrell comes up with is gonna be dope. You know, fucking amazing. Yeah, I was, I was listening to, um, to one of the songs. I was just really thinking, like, damn, his old music was so ahead of his time. There's just not. There's nothing that that man has touched. When, when it comes to like, and when it comes to like hip hip hop, like, there's just nothing that he's touched that's not been amazing. Yeah. Like, I don't. A- everything Shit. him and Jay has ever done has been amazing. Yeah. I've not. There's not a single song that they have together that I don't like. I've listened to every single. Like, it's crazy. I love. I love his sound when it comes to what he does with hip hop is so unique Very nice cool. like that's yeah <laughs> it's like they was I know they was having was, fun in the studio exactly they was playing that's around another thing they was playing like, around like Pharrell's music is always fun yeah it's, it's, I, I don't know any any Pharrell tracks that aren't fun man. he um he pushes the boundaries every yeah. time like he's mm-hmm. like all right, let me get like everybody's doing this, so let me make sure I'm not doing any of this at all. Yeah, but stick like I don't know. He's the way. And, uh, There's a certain bounce that Pharrell has that nobody else yeah. has. There's a certain bounce to his music that just you can't find anywhere else. Have you seen his interview with Rick Rubin? Uh, uh-huh. he got one. He got one with Rick Rubin. Yeah, just it's him dope. and Rick. Yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. Seriously though, yeah. oh, they was talking about some dope stuff. Yeah, it's it's got, that, that's that last month, like yeah, it, it, it hasn't been that long. It's, I yeah. what, the it's last cool. thing I seen with them was Kendrick's. Uh, yeah, it was Ken- Kendrick's, and then I that saw the barbershop good. episode that he was on, that Rick was on. Oh, the. What about Rashad? With LeBron? Yeah. What? Rick Rubin was on a barbershop. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Rick, Ru- that. no, <laughs> Rick Rubin, Bill Hader. Um, fucking who else is it? Uh, Demar Derozan. Uh, they had like two female athletes in there. Uh, I, I yeah, it was a packed ass. It was a packed ass episode, and they they talked about a lot of dope shit. Man. Okay. Rick, oh Diddy was on it. Diddy and Ru- Diddy and Ruben were both dropped. Uh, they was both dropping. Was the best one I've ever seen still is the one with Jimmy Iovine. I don't know if you ever saw that one. Is Jimmy that the one with uh was Zoe there? Yeah, so yeah, they yeah, talked yeah. a lot about the music industry and yeah. how it's changed. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Dang, but yeah, um, yeah, with the way Pharrell like he just describes music is yeah, different. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. he, he says some shit like, like uh, it's like a glass dropping on the ground. Over, I was like, nigga, what? What is that? Like it was some <laughs> crazy shit. I was like, yo, this man's crazy. But but if you like, go in the studio with them, it, it actually makes sense. Yeah, I feel like bro. when you go in the studio, I feel like if you get into the studio for real, everything he's ever said is gonna make sense. No, most definitely, <laughs> most definitely, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, man, I feel like that would be a dope ass. That'd be a dope ass track to get on. Yeah, when I get, when yeah. I get on, nah, yeah, that would really tell you. Damn. Yeah, that's just hard. Um, looking forward to the track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, so you've been there all around. What, um, what did you make the choice to come to Houston, or it's just like you just came here? Well, yeah. I mean, what's called my folks is already out here, and I was thinking about moving to LA, mm-hmm. but um, I was out in Florida working for Apple, man, and I was just like getting to a point where it was going to become like a career option okay so i had a choice to either you know pursue that or try and make this music shit happen and i felt like houston would be the best route for me to be able to do that you know so i felt like that was probably in my best interest at the time and you know i packed up my shit and moved out here man was like let's try and make this shit happen and it's been a it's been i accomplished you know i've set like stretch goals mm-hmm. that I've, you know, since we started doing it seriously, you know, each stretch goal that I've set for the year, you know, I've been able to accomplish in some form or fashion, you know, so, okay. you know, that's the, that's, that's really, that's good. That's good. you know, so anytime we, that, that's, that's coming to fruition, I feel like it's something that I should be doing, you know, and it's not like, you know, I have a lot of blessings, you know, on my side, you know, to where I can, I can be able to do this, this for, you know, hopefully a career, you know, even if I don't end up being the, the biggest artist on the planet I know now yeah. there's a whole other side to the business yeah. and a whole other avenue a whole bunch of other avenues that I could figure out and find my way around but you know for as long as I can I'm gonna push I'm gonna push this music stuff and you know hopefully you know I can get it get it how I can I feel it that's tight 
Yeah, uh, you don't have to be the best rapper, but you have to know you the best rapper. That's Amen. that's all it is. <laughs> yeah, and then you do just fine, guys. Like, yeah, you definitely doing great. Um, that's interesting though for you to choose Houston, cause like local artists, they um, or I talk to them, you know, it's like they want to go get out of Houston. But again, it's also like your city's not gonna be like the one that's gonna show you the most love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's a great like. Like upper hand that you have already, it's being out of city. Like yeah, this is something different. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, everybody who hears me talk knows that I'm not from here. Yeah. So it's like they, then you know, <laughs> it's like you know off Instagram, like yeah. oh, you're not from around here. No, yeah. Yeah, you know, for, like people already know you. I'm from somewhere else. So and it, I sound different when I rap too. So mm-hmm. it's like yeah, they as soon as they hear me rap, they know it's like I, yeah. I thought you was mixed with something. I thought you was like Puerto Rican. <laughs> or some shit, for real. Man, you'd be surprised. I, was, I get that. Bro. I get that all the time. Bro. Okay, I get Puerto Rican, Dominican, all that. No, nah, that's all. Okay, this did come from somewhere else. Ah, right, nah, man, yeah. I'm, from, I'm from the Bay, man. Yeah, that's what's up, though. That's what's up, yeah. That's cool, man. Like, you're doing a great job. I appreciate um, it, man. So, what uh, what can we expect next from you? Next, man, we, like I said, we have two projects uh, lined up already, and I'm trying to get a third one started as well. Um, okay. Okay. But the next project is right outside my window, too. Okay. Uh, right outside my window too is uh six songs. More, more now. Oh, seven songs. It's, it's like seven, or eight, including pill, you know, pills and. Oh uh, yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah. On. I forgot we had those. Okay. All right, so eight song uh uh project. So it's gonna be five more than the last. And like I said, videos for every single one of those. Tight. Um, in the meantime, we're aiming for like. Was it January? No, no, no. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna still try to make December. Oh yeah. You, okay. okay. By, December? by the end of December, y'all right. heard from the man upstairs. Hey, <laughs> all right. Look <laughs> forward. From the man upstairs, December, uh, and then on the in between time, we gonna keep on. Like I said, we got we got some more videos to shoot for uh, the little one minute thirty. 30 second clips that we got and we gonna upload those to SoundCloud as well okay, but uh, okay. this, this you guys are gonna love this next project I think I think this next project is a is a good uh, improvement on the last and then the videos that we got for them is crazy like we ended up shooting another video earlier this year too so we have some videos already stacked up waiting for it so, okay yeah, tight, yeah, tight. We, we almost there we almost there hey I feel it I, like, I love the work I love it I love seeing it yeah, yeah you're doing great appreciate keep that it, shit up um Last thing uh, before we go, I have to ask you. Mm-hmm. Well, so we're common interest, and uh, we're usually pretty positive on here, so we like to get a little negative every now and then. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> got to ask you, what are you uninterested in? So, for example, uh, let me go to my notes. I, I have to write so much shit down. Right? It's getting my nerves. Uh, oh, all right. So, I... This came up um, a little while ago. I can't remember the rapper's name, but it was one of Meek Mill's artists, and he just came out. Really, he just got signed. And people was like, hey, you know, why ain't you about to chain yet? Bruh, if you a rapper, you don't have to be iced out. Like, you don't. Like, it, niggas be renting that shit anyways. Like, fucking leasing that shit off. Going to the fucking mall, get that shit. It's whatever. Like, most of that shit be fake anyway. Y'all stressing what other niggas got in their pockets. That The, the richest niggas... Probably the brokest looking nigga in the room. Like, <laughs> stop worrying about that shit. That man said it was great. He said that I gotta take care of my family still. I gotta get my mom out the house. But he said my grandma's on dialysis. What I look like paying fifty thousand dollars for a chain? My grandma's dialysis is only thirty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Get your priorities in order. Some shit is more important than fucking getting a chain. You want a chain after you take care of your business? Do that. But don't need to be iced out. You wasting your money anyways, cause if it's not gonna go up in value, it's probably gonna. Go. <laughs> it's just, I mean, just saying. But um, anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm interested in. So, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I am uninterested to go off of what she's saying. I'm uninterested in speaking on looking like I'm living a lifestyle that I have no idea about. Mm. Most importantly, I ain't never had to live that lifestyle. There's no point to, to trying to make it seem like I am more than what I am in this moment, which is somebody who is right here at the common interest doing a podcast because we all trying to do something creative, man. Like, that's that's all there is to it. I don't have nothing to, uh, nothing to prove that's not already proven with my presence. Mm. So if 
this ain't enough. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That's just hey, what it is. That's real. That's you know, real. You move, pick up and move on to the next one. But I'm uninterested in that, man. That's, that's all I'm uninterested in. For y'all, all your industry plants out there, stay real to the streets. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, um, but thank you again for coming no, out. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Anytime, real talk, man. Real anytime. Talk, man. Like I said, if you got anything, um, Got any more works? Let us know. We're Almost Post to the page. Thank you, man. Ready for another Appreciate interview. It. Come through for another interview, whatever. Most definitely, man. Um, I'll be back. Hey, bet. Appreciate it. Um, all right. So check out Jumpman at I am Jumpman official on all platforms: YouTube, SoundCloud, Instagram, Facebook, all that. Find me on it, man. Appreciate y'all. Thank yeah, you. Check it out. And uh, I was listening to podcasts and everything, and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to bop off y'all a little bit. The poem shit is really cool, and I'm going to do a poem at the end of my shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> so, stay consistent with your vision because you're blessed with another day on the mission. And thanks for tuning in. We are the Common Inches. Catch you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, share with a friend, comment below. Um, we do have a GoFundMe out. Don't forget about that. Got PayPal, Cash App, whatever y'all got. You want to donate? Hit us up. Um, catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Look at me and tell me what you see. A truly good person or a nigga not free? From the sick and depraved slave mentality Follow anything walking two feet in front of me That's women chains and fame Money drained and stained I see you passing judgment but don't really know the pain To be a mixed black man Dealing Delta bad hand Damn all those that don't know who I am I'm calm, I'm lifted, I'm frank I'm different, I'm real Unfiltered, I'm brave and stricken with empathy An ability to love filled with faith and some grace Like my father up above uh, yeah, Looking at me with a frown Why well, I gotta have it bad cause my skin is cold Brown. Meanwhile, God is looking down with a smile at the man that he created, thinking, damn, I'm so proud. Never too late, never too late, never too late. Oh, never too late, never too late. Never too late, never too late, never too late, never too late. Oh, never too late, never too late. Never too late. Look at me. And tell me what you see, another nigga dead with my name on